Hare Krishna. When the mind engages, it engages. When Krishna engages, he elevates. When we are working at a job, we, if we work at different jobs at different times, we will notice that different bosses have different dispositions. Some bosses, they just want to exploit their employees to get as much work done as possible. And then on top of that, those bosses want to take all the credit of the work for themselves and not give any credit to the employees. But there may be some other bosses who are actually not just concerned about getting the work done, they also want to train the employees, help the employee to grow. Then these bosses are not just bosses, they become like mentors. And they help people to grow. So similarly, when we are in, in our day-to-day -day lives, we have to understand that we can have two masters. We can have the material world, which is represented inter internally by our mind as our master, or we can have Krishna as our master. Now, when we serve our mind, the result of that is that we become dominated, we become subordinated. When the mind engages, it engages us. How is that? When the mind proposes something, come on, watch this, touch this, eat this, drink this. When we do it once, then the mind next time propositions even, far, even more forcefully. Till eventually the mind just captures us, it enslaves us. Nobody is born an addict. But when the mind proposes, okay, take the substance, once, twice, thrice, till eventually they end up as addicts. So when the mind engages, it engages us. By understanding this, we have to be very careful to listen to what the mind is saying. Normally, we don't want to serve anyone else. And because the mind is inside us, we don't even realize that we are serving the mind. And because Krishna, we see him as the speaker of the Bhagavad Gita or as a God who is external to us or as a God whose will is manifested through his representatives. We may often resent, why should I serve Krishna? But when Krishna engages, he elevates. The Bhagavad Gita says in 6.7, Jitatmanaha prashantasya paramatma samahitaha shitoshna sukha dukkheshu tathamana pamanaya says jitatmanaha if we can just restrain our mind prachantasya we'll experience inner tranquility and paramatma samahitaha we will realize that the super soul krishna is already present with me is next to me and by that inner connection with krishna what will happen Sheet oshna sukha dukkheshu the, the, the dualities of life like heat and cold, happiness and distress, the thamana apamana yo, honor and dishonor, these will not perturb us so much because we will be elevated by Krishna to a higher level of consciousness. So when Krishna engages, he elevates. He elevates us to a higher spiritual level of consciousness where we experience inner satisfaction. The next verse 6.8 says this, that jnana vijnana truptatma will become contented, will become satisfied, will become enriched. By understanding this ultimately uplifting quality of serving Krishna, we can ho engage in Krishna's service, not resentfully, but wholeheartedly. Thank you. Hare Krishna.